Welcome to another Enjoying Art Watercolor lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this tricolor heron. This year, Enjoying Art continued working with a non-profit organization in Florida to fight hunger. I'm going to teach an online watercolor class to help the fundraiser. And the prints of this painting are available for purchase. Part of the process will be uh, donations to the organization. At the end of this video, you're going to find out more information on how you can help. I'm going to start with some pencil drawing and take a look at this is going to be present as is where the, uh, the tip of the beak, the mouth would be. And this is going to be represent uh, the legs. And this is going to be the back over here. So I'm going to take a look at where I'm going to put it. I'm going to have this like this. I'm going to move a little bit more toward the middle. And I think that probably is. I'm not sure that you are reading my mind. Okay, right here. This is the mouth. That's the back over here, and that would be the leg down over here, like that. So I can see that this is, would be the mouse very long. So here you go. So the back over here, you want, you want to see the whole thing as a shape coming down like this, coming all the way here, and coming up over here, right? And this is two part. One is the body, look like an oval shape, right? Yeah, you may not really see it because it looks very light. Okay, that's good, like that. So I got the shape over here and then the mouth would be over here. I'm gonna use uh, masking tape to mask the mouth so I can paint the background a little bit more freely. Okay, I will show you how to prepare that. Here you go, like that. And I don't need to worry too much about the eye and so on. I only can, you need to focus on how to mask this area. And here you go. Uh, I need to double check on if this is exactly what I want to do. Okay, and if this is the shape I want, okay, this is gonna be start over here, the leg over here, and coming straight down over here, and here you go, like that. Here you go, like this, and the back. Here you go, and there's another one over here. Okay, there's another leg over here coming from the little bit the back. So that the top of the the leg you will not be able to see because that is, is under the cover. Okay, like that. I'm gonna use a masking tape. This very strong artist tape. I'm gonna take this much out. Now I'm gonna put it right over here, right next to it. I don't have to press it too hard, so I'm gonna draw that on the top over here. And I think the top over here, this piece, I don't have to mask. I only need to mask the light area, right? So, right here from here, I'm gonna coming up like this. I try to draw the shape. Okay, right here, that's good. And then, hmm, I'm gonna put it a little bit higher. Here you go, like that. So I can use the little bit more. Here we go. That's showing. That's good. I like it showing a little bit more like this. I don't want to put it on the paper and cut it on the watercolor paper. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use a scissors. Here we go. Start cutting. 
Actually, this is very straight. I can just coming over here. Just a little tip like this. Okay. Now I come to the other side. And that's good. A little tip like that. Yeah, look at it again. And going straight. Here you go. Coming all the way, all the way to here. And then I'm going to cut it from here down a little bit. Here we go, like that. And then coming over here. I think this is the shape. Let's take a look. I'm going to put it slowly, put it into this space. Let's take a look. I think that's pretty cool. It's very much like that. And maybe this a little bit longer. So also this a little bit more straight. And if the tape is not strong enough, it may be loose. Okay, I'm gonna have this. May not be able to protect, okay. Now I'm gonna put this back over here. Like that. That's good. I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna start doing the painting the background. Okay. Now I'm going to use my one inch flat brush. Now, just thinking about, I'm going to have a little bit less colorful background. So I'm going to take the blue color, take some red color. These two color together is already make kind of like gray color. It maybe still have a little bit greenish feeling. So get a little bit, but this color is not going to be a bright uh, green color, right? So I'm going to have lots of lots of water. Can you see that? Lots of water. Okay, seems like a lot of issues. So now I'm going to come back over here. How about I'm going to mute or if you need to say something, unmute yourself on the main device. Okay, all right, I'm going to have this going to start working into the background, having something really spontaneous. Here you go. And leave the back over here a little bit light. But the rest, you're going to have something a little bit soft. Okay. But making sure also have around the mouth area and make sure it's a little bit darker enough, okay? So that you make it stand out, make a statement. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this is pretty good. I really like that look. I'm gonna get a little bit yellowish down over here, like that, and okay, and I'm going to at the bottom over here and make sure I have a little bit soft enough, okay, I don't want to have that look too hard on the edge, okay, that's good. All right, now I'm going to, uh, at the bottom here, I'm going to have some kind of reflection feeling. You got paint around the leg. Just have a little design element over here. I'm gonna have a little bit grade. Like that too. Okay, that's good. Like that. So it's just don't cover the leg. I'm going to soften that 
as the water coming down, I'm gonna remove the straight line. Let's just get a little bit over here, tap it up a little bit. That's a little bit over. Okay, since we are having this color, and I'm gonna start also add some darker color to the hair. Have some wet into wet. Okay, let's take a look. I'm having the blue color and the red color together. And that probably a little bit too wet to put it on, but it will be interesting to see how it's gonna come out. Okay, right here. Here you go, like that. Have a little wet into wet. Okay, here you go, like that. A little bit soft edge. We're gonna see how it's gonna come out. Okay, over here I'm gonna have a little bit blue color. Gets a little red, so a little gray color over here. I'm gonna see a little bit. We're working out the tri color uh, a little bit later. Over here, here you go. And we can come back to refine that again. Here you go, right over here. Going there. Coming down over here, that's good. All right, take a look over here. Coming over here, it's a little bit soft. It's gonna blow into the background. We're gonna see. We welcome challenge. Okay, here you go. Now, and continue. Have a little color. This is the foundation of the whole feathers. Here you go, like that. Gonna have a little bit blue color and other colors. There you go. We're doing this because we're waiting that to dry. Okay. And like this. That's good. So in that's the feather. A little bit red and yellow, so make it look like a little bit more brown. A little bit over here. That's good. Okay. Now in the back over here, now I'm gonna make it a little bit softer. Okay. I'm gonna leave this color in a little bit. Okay, have that. And when I have that, a little bit soft color. Just move those color in here. Make a little bit soft and a little bit soft over here. That's okay. That's good. Okay. Maybe have some little dry brush. Like that. This is good. And actually, maybe here a little bit too hot, so I'm gonna soften that. Earlier we talked about thicker and ground. We want to have a little bit softer in the ground. That's good. Keep a little texture. That's fine. And now I'm gonna use the fry brush. I'm gonna come back over here to also remove this color all the way coming down over here. I treat like every single square inch and in the canvas as a part of the artwork. So you don't want to see that somewhere over there, it maybe break the balance. Yeah, and I'm gonna have this, so maybe a little bit softer over here too. And sometimes it's softer a little bit. It would be make uh, quite a bit of difference and feel different okay now I'm gonna let it dry 
But before I walk away, I'm going to do a little splash into the background. Okay, I'm going to stand up, take a little water in my finger. Okay. I just want to have something going on over there. Okay, so I'm going to let it stable before I come back to make the adjustment. The paper mostly already dry. Now I'm going to come to here to carefully lift up the masking tape. Start from the top over here. Slowly. Carefully. Don't use a knife because you're going to cut into the paper. Slowly. That's good. Wow, look at that. It's a beautiful shape. And it's really sharp. All right, now we are going to start working into the painting. So before I start it, I'm going to start doing a little lifting. Some of the area need to be lighter. Like over here, at the front over here. Says, you see my brush dry, but it have to be wet. Lots of wet first. Wet it, and before you dry the uh, the water away with the fingers. Okay. Now I'm gonna have this moving out a little bit. Extend it a little bit. Make it a little bit softer. You see that? It's easy. And a little bit light color over here too. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna take a look at also here. I'm gonna do a little expanding, a little light shape over here. That's good. A little bit more. All right, that's very good. I'm going to soften this. All right, now I'm going to start. Add a little color to the mouth. And I'm going to add a little bit uh, warm yellow color, which is yellow with a little red color. Don't make it too dark. If it's too dark, it's going to um, fighting with the outside. So I'm going to put it right under here. Right over here. That's good. That's the shape right under. At the top, it has a, a little more like pure yellow. Now just Take the yellow color. I don't really need that much. So just a little yellow color. That's good. And the top over here. So prepare that foundation. Okay. The eye was sitting here. So I'm going to paint it around the eye. And actually the whole eye is darker than the yellow. It has yellow color. So I paint the whole thing with the, this yellow color. That's good. Like that. Okay, let's set the foundation for that color. Now, let's paint the color for this, uh, those, the feather on the body. So let's take a look and what color I'm going to use. Let's take a look at this color. If I have a little bit more blue, that's good. A little bit more blue, like that. I'm going to have a little bit of red shade blue color. I think it has a little bit more. That would be more like the color we need. That's good. Now I'm going to paint it over here like that. Even have a little bit red mixed into it. Okay. That's good. Now start over here. That's good. Like that. And this part. Okay, coming over here and coming all the way down over here. OK, 
Okay, that's good. And then, and the feather coming onto this side. Now continue, get a little red color, mix it into here. And get a little bit closer and closer, now I have a little bit brown color. And here we go. Now I'm gonna have a little bit, just a little bit blue color. And when it get closer over here. That's good. Here you go. That's good. Now have a little bit uh, warmer color, like a little bit brown uh, color has make it look like a little bit reflection. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna have some catch the shadow color a little bit later. Now on the top over here, also have a little bit brownish color on the top over here, and that can expand that a little bit. Have a little red. That's good, like that. Here you go, coming a little bit in here. Like that, here you go. Some color coming in, looking for the rhythm, looking for the interest. Okay. That's good. Now, this is the shape for the body. Now I'm gonna come into to take a look at the head. The head would be a little bit gray color, but a little bit more like blue gray color. Here, like this, that's good. I'm gonna take this color. Now, take a look at around here. Uh -huh. Okay, right here. Observe, think about it before you start painting. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's good. And then come around over here. Think about it. Compare, I think a little bit closer. That, that's good. Think about shapes, everything just shape. When you do drawing, think about shape. When you're painting, think about shape. Okay, like that. Coming on this side. Now take a look on here. And coming up a little bit, like that. And here we go. Come down a little bit. Okay, that's good. We can make that even darker, okay. Uh, coming over here. Now, so this is the gray color around the top of the head, okay. Now on the back, have a little bit more the dark red color. Now I'm gonna put this color here, like that. So this brush is very easy for you to apply all different kind of shapes. Okay, here you go. That's good. Now come down over here, also have some red color. No, that's good. Now I'm going to add a little bit darker red. Put a little red color here. And darker red, that would be the blue color with the red. So it would be, appear to be, but a little bit more red than the blue. So appear to be dark. You see that this is a very dark red color. So I'm gonna put this color in here. You see that, that's beautiful. When you think about color, you have to think about the value before you mix the color because they're affecting how much water you would need. Okay, like that, I'm gonna have a little bit feather even come out like this. Here you go. That's good. 
and then the top over here have some red color okay like that that's good and showing a little big few white here on the top so i'm going to put a little big red color on top of there the head like that that's good that's good Okay, we're still going to try to make it look uh, f the form of the head. Um, but let's step by step. Now, this is already dry, so I'm going to come back over here. So make a little bit darker color. So I have a little blue color mixed into the red color. I'm going to have a little bit dark color to showing. You see that? That feather. Right under this feather, there's the catch to shadow. Okay, here you go. Like that, a little bit coming over here. That's good. Like that, a little bit. That's good. A little bit over here. You can see there's a little shape, darker, a little shape lighter. And over here, we can see this feather, this group of small group of feather. That's a little bit darker. There's a small group of feather, a little bit darker. Here you go. Like that. And look at that. And the top over here. And I'm going to, it's going to be fun to see all those color, how you are going to make them uh, work together. Still, don't forget, this is a round body, right? Over here, I'm going to have a little brown color. Like that, maybe too bright. Okay, a little bit yellow. Okay, here you go. Like that, that's good. A little bit over here, a little brown color on the top over here too. Okay, now a little brown color over here. Okay, that's seeing. That's good. A little bit light brown color for the feather. Okay, screen your eye to see that. Is that good enough? Okay. If you overdo it, it may be difficult to come back. Okay, I think that's very interesting. Light shape. I'm trying to make it a little bit softer, like that. And maybe do a little bit scratch a little bit later to showing a couple of loose hair. Okay, take a look at the top over here. And then I think it come a little bit higher over here. That's good. Slowly but surely it's going to turn out the way you want. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit darker color right underneath. Have a little red and the chest here, right under here. I don't think there's the chest, it's just the neck over here. Okay, here you go. Have a feel shape. Even make this a little bit more darker in this space. Okay, here you go. Here you go, like that. Now we're showing it a little bit more round. Let's get over here, get also a little bit darker too. That's good. Over here, it should be a little bit darker. I'm gonna take this little bit darker color and put it in here and making sure that it is a consistent color. Okay, that's good. And this, the color coming up over here too, can look like a, a wrapping around to the front. Okay. I don't work into too much details. I just set a little bit over here. It's still a little bit uh, dry, a little bit wet at this point. Okay. That. Okay, 
we can use a little lifting, a little bit later, to create the shininess of the feather. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to work in on the leg. The legs look like a yellow, but it's just not a light yellow color. So you can see that uh, it's actually not yellow. It's a little bit gray color. It looks like this. Maybe a little bit red. A little bit. That's good. So this is the local color for the legs. Uh, here you go. Start painting on it. Like this. Good. Now take a look how it come down. And slowly look and paint. And here you go. And that's good enough. That's one. And now I'm gonna paint the claw. Okay, here you go. Like that. If you paint too fast for the bird leg, it doesn't look like the bird leg. You have to slow down like this. Here you go. And then the craw over here. Okay, now on this leg, I'm gonna come start over here. From here coming to here. So I'm gonna have this. Here you go. Look at it. Again. Right here. That's good. Okay, now coming over here. And make a little bit make a little bit different. Like this. It's good. And there's another one. There's another one on the other side. Observation. Curve a little bit. Here you go. Now over here. Come down over here. And then the crawl on the other side. That's good. I think it has missed one over here. That's good. Like that. Okay. And... So you don't want to see it's yellow. It's not really yellow. So I'm going to have a little red color. Makes it a little bit darker for the shadow side. Okay, here you go. I'm going to have a little bit shadow over here. That's good. And the front over here, it has some pattern. Like that, that's good. The knee over here. A little twisted, a little curve, a little turn, like that, and over here, this is straight. Okay, that's good. And we will need to work on the tree. With thinking about the tree, I don't have to move it all the way up over there. And maybe stop over here, or maybe continue going up over there. I think I probably still move it up over there, but I will do that after this dry. But thinking about the contrast over here, background over here, they're pretty soft, a gray, soft color, right? Now the body, the hair is, looks pretty, pretty dark compared to the, the background. So the color, com the color and value compositions uh, looks pretty good over here. And the mouth over here is really different. It's a pop up and it have a gray contrast. And, but whether or not we're going to put too much of the, the gray color over there. And maybe still we have a little gray color, but the top over there, the top edge, we're going to keep it a little light. So I'm going to take this color. Here you go. Right over here. Like this. So the top. Keep it light. There you go, like that. A little bit texture over here. That's good. Uh, 
All right. Okay. Now, still good. Now I'm going to add a little orange color inside the eye. And here you go. It's a little bit red, orange color. While we're waiting for the feather to drive. Whole inside is red, orange color. Like that. And I'm going to paint the details a little bit later. Now, on the top over here, and I'm going to do a little lifting. So this can be a little bit lighter. Just use this calligraphy brush. should be able to lift up quite a bit of color. Okay, that's good. Here you go. Coming out. Too much. Okay. I'm going to lift that a little bit lighter. Okay, now it just looks like a little bit lighter. That's good enough. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Now, over here, I'm gonna lifting a little bit. So showing a few feathers a little bit lighter. Okay, make that a little bit lighter, like that. That's good. Now a little bit lighter over here. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna come back over here to do a little lifting, adjusting as well. So I'm going to come back with the one inch flat brush. Now I'm going to do a little lifting, just use the corner. A little lifting over here and think about there's a feather. That's good. A little feather on the top over here, a little bit lighter. After the lifting, the feather will look more convincing. And over here. That's good, like that. And I'm going to also lift up a little bit in here. If you're persistent, don't stop. It will be able to lift. And if you don't trust that you can do it, and the chances most likely, you will stop before you get to that. Now this is good, a little bit softer. That's good, like that. I'll come back a little bit later. Now I'm going to come back to uh, the face area. I'm going to get a little bit light brown color and have a little yellow actually here. Let's take a look right over here, like that. Okay, right in here. Okay, look, analyze it. Here you go. Like that, like this, and have a little bit red color. Here you go, a little bit red color right here. So every bird has uh, some special features. So you just need to pay attention to it, watch it, watch it, and careful, analyze it. Okay. Okay, that's good. Have fun over here. I'm 
Okay, the top have a little red. Okay, that's good. Okay. All right. Now we need to working on. Uh, continue working on the the suggestions of the body how it curve over. So I'm gonna take this color, and with a little more red color, make it like this. That's good. A little bit more dark gray color. A little bit blue. Here you go. I'm going to continue over here. I'm going to paint around some color. Make it feel like there is just a little bit lighter feather. So here you go. Here you go. Right here. That's good. So a little bit feather over here. And this is the feather like that okay a little bit more shape in between Here you go. okay that's good and the top over there I'm also going to use this color to paint around that the top over here have some light feather like this look and paint around that shape here you go like that here you go so under here there will be different color here you go like that and come around over here and the top over here I'm going to have set a little bit stages draw that very very thin line okay prepare my brush here you go now I start over here okay that's good I'm going to continue Like that, and keep coming up. Okay, that's good. A little bit turn. Like that, that's good. Okay, I think that's the nose right over here. Now, I'm using X-Acto knife. I'm going to scratch one very sharp here so when you scratch you have to use the side weight okay like this so that that's good I hope you will join us to help the fundraiser go to youngchen.com right on the main part of the page you will see the link to find out more information from there, you can start pre-order the G-Clay prints of this painting. If this is the first time to this channel, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe, and turn on notification. If you can, please come to join us at enjoyingart.com, become a member. I'm looking forward to see you in our next video.